Whoops, almost missed the start of the presentation. Okay, Fire Emblem. Uh, Muso style. Again. Um, looks bad. I, this kind of surprises me because while Fire Emblem has its fans, I didn't hear anyone really speak particularly lovingly of the other Fire Emblem Muso game, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, because it looks really bad. You know, lots of generic enemies. At least this one has big monsters in it, but... Oh boy, does that look bland. Well, hopefully it's good. I I'm not a Fire Emblem fan, so hopefully Fire Emblem fans will like it. Uh, Advanced Wars, cool. I, I like the character art, but the update of the 3D assets looks a little... <sighs> crap to me. I, I just really don't like the style. But uh, the, the 2D character art and animation is really nice. Um... Uh, no way, no way home. Uh, got Spider-Man on the brain because I still haven't seen it because the damn drive-in keeps double featuring it with itself, and I'm not paying ten bucks to see the same movie twice. Anyway, uh, No Man's Sky looked boring originally. I'm glad they actually made a game out of it. I'm still not interested. Strikers, hey, cool. People liked Strikers, bringing it back. Um, I really like the uh, the hard outline, fuzzy comic book. Uh, look that it adopts when you're doing power moves. And it's kind of weird that uh, Boom Boom seems to be your goalie, no matter... I, I don't think you have a choice. <laughs> Which is... I guess it's understandable, because then you'd always use Koopa and Donkey Kong and the big ones for... and Wario as your goalie. So... And Rosalina uh, floats. O okay. Alright, what's next? Um... Oh, yeah, Splatoon 3's still coming. And they're doing the spawn wave. Grunion run. Salmon run. They're not grunions, they're salmon. Uh, this was in Splatoon 2, but uh, it's got new features, so that's nice. It look, looks fine. Never really been in... I'm, I'm not a multiplayer gamer, so it's not really my bag. I know they've had single-player modes, but... Um, yeah, it just... Not hasn't been for me, unfortunately. Next. No. Next. Come on. Move. Go. Next. Snappy. Oh, hey, remake of um uh it'll say in a minute. Front mission, yeah. Alright. I don't know what this game is, but I do like that uh, you can target the enemy's crotch. That's pretty cool. Seriously, I have no memory of Front Mission 1 or 2. Uh, this is a free-to-play game, which makes me very, very cautious. I don't trust you, free-to-play game. I don't trust you at all. I thought I thought I saw Shrek in the background. I think it's a Sully from uh, uh, Monsters, Inc. Uh, Force Unleashed, I uh, did the guide. I uh, wrote the guide for both uh, Force Unleashed and Force Unleashed 2, if I'm remembering correctly, for uh, IGN back in the day. Um, Assassin's Creed, because no one's bored of that yet, somehow. Uh, Gundam thing, yay Gundam. Yeah, I have nothing more to say about that. Wow, this looks garbage. Uh, I mean, a great classic game, but uh, the PlayStation couldn't render attractive games if its life depended on it. And when you clean up the fuzz, you just get something really janky looking. Uh, if you're going to remake Chrono Cross or any PS1 title, you're going to have to do more than that. Because, wow, is that unattractive. Uh, they should sell car covers that look exactly like uh, Kirby with the little Kirby eating a car. Uh, this looks fine. I, I like the gimmick. Yeah, seriously, that should be a car cover. Uh, I, I don't like the way... I, I think when Kirby sucks the car towards him, it should not be bumper first. It should be the top of the car first. Because he looks like a car cover instead of, you know, holding a big car in his mouth. I, eh. You know, the roof should go in first. That would make more sense to me. And hopefully you can pet the little fox things, because they're cute. Um, I, don't, I don't know how he snaps with a batting glove on. I, I bet it makes no sound. 
that's all Foley. I wonder if that's a the little puppet. Is that a reference to something? I don't get it. Kingdom Hearts, great. I, I, I know a lot of people like them. They look really bad to me. They just look like bad games with bad stories and bad gameplay. Uh, Klonoa, I hear is great. Never played it. Probably still not going to. I've played the Portal games. They're great. Don't think about how old they are. You'll feel old. Because they're, they're surprisingly old. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Live uh, Evil. It's Live Alive. It's just a weird logo. But uh, this looks cool. Never came out in uh, North America. A little update of uh, old RPG. Might be neat. Yeah. Next. Uh, oh, yeah, hey, Wii Sports is going to be on the Switch. Only, I, they, no golf, or, although it is added as DLC later, or free update or something. This looks like Rocket League, just without the cars. So it's like, hey, let's take the exciting part of, let's take Rocket League, but leave the big ball and put people on the stage. I don't know. Yeah. Badminton's cool, because uh, the item you play with is a shuttlecock, and it makes me giggle. Uh, it's odd that they've either changed or are not using the Miis uh, for the characters in this game. Although, um, uh, these two gentlemen do have their Miis as the characters. So, I guess it depends. Kozumi and Takahashi, right? Um, hey, what about boxing? People love the boxing minigame in Wii Sports. It's just, just six games with a seventh coming? I, I don't know, maybe it's pandemic slowing down the production or something but that seems kind of kind of weak guys no oh. I don't care either way next oh uh, Tycho drum master eh, it's always fun I mean there I forget which uh, Yakuza game uh, had um, Taiko Drum Master in the arcade. That was fun. Probably be more fun with an actual drum controller than, you know, playing on a gamepad, but hey. Uh, Triangle Strategy, I think, looks neat, but I didn't really care for the demo. Maybe I'll try out the new one and see if uh, any changes change my mind on the game any. Uh, more Cuphead. It's, certainly looks nice. I've not played it myself, though. This is interesting. Uh, I was like, oh, hey, free Dread update. Neat. Oh, it's just a extreme difficulty mode and easier difficulty mode. And boss rush. I've already played the game, so I... Mm -hmm. Earthbound and Earthbound 2, but still no Earthbound 3, because Nintendo doesn't like us very much. I, We shouldn't have kicked Nintendo's dog. You know, if we wanted Mother 3, we, we should have kept our feet away from Nintendo's dog. That's, it's our own fault, really. Um, zombie Army. Heart is probably, shouldn't be on the outside. Whatever that is, that looks kind of neat. Wish we would have got more at, not the, the anime one, the one right before that. Lego something, Two Point Campus, that's been around for a while. Wish we'd, that second one, I think, it's a little side-scrolly beat-em-up, maybe. Looks pretty neat. Wish we'd seen more of that. So, uh, 48 new stages or re re rebuilds of old Mario Kart stages uh, for 25 bucks. You know, about you know half a buck per uh, per course. That's not too bad. If you're already paying for that extraordinarily priced, <laughs> um, uh, what's it called? It's they're going to say in a second. The expansion online plus expansion pack, which is like 50 bucks a year. Um, you get it for free, so I mean, if you have that, hey, great. And finally, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So, you remember a decade ago when we had to beg Nintendo to give us Xenoblade Chronicles, a game that uh, was already localized and they, we were in the middle of a game shortage and the Wii was still popular? Glad you listened to us, aren't you, Nintendo? Because now you've got a full, popular, profitable franchise. Good on you. 
I wasn't into Xenoblade 2, so I don't know how into Xenoblade 3 I'll be, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, bye.